Well, on the issue of uh, UN sanctions uh, that have been considered by uh, the Security Council, let's go straight to correspondent Nathan King, who joins us now on the line from New York. Nathan, then, was anything agreed following that uh, Emergency Security Council summit? Uh, the short answer is no. Uh, basically, what's happened is that the statement was issued to all 15 members of the council. They met behind closed doors. Uh, it basically condemns uh, the, uh, the added incarceration of Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, a cause for uh, free elections and the release of political prisoners. But uh, China and other countries said, look, we need more time to consider this. And so they've gone away and they're going to come back in the next uh, few hours and consider it. But sanctions are far from the agenda of the Security Council. Uh, it's always remained divided over, over Burma. And uh, China, as, as your report suggested, uh, is very resistant. But it's not just China. Uh, Thailand, for example, takes a lot of natural gas from Burma. Uh, from Burma. Uh, India, too, has, has uh, very close uh, commercial ties. And it's very unlikely that we're going to see added sanctions here. And it, it's interesting because uh, the UN Secretary General has, has done a couple of trips to, um, to Burma. Uh, he came back just in July trying to meet with Aung San Suu Kyi and get the release of political prisoners and also pave the way for free and fair elections. He thought he'd got some of that. Obviously, that has not happened. And so the UN is in a very difficult position right now. OK, well, meanwhile, Nathan, on a separate note, uh, lawyers acting for Aung San Suu Kyi and her two female aides, as well as lawyers acting for the American John Yetau, have said that they will appeal this verdict. What's the likelihood of this appeal actually having any results for, the, for those convicted? Yeah, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, probably uh, very little. Remember that the court actually handed down a hard labor sentence and then uh, Thang Shui, the uh, military, you know, actually commuted it to 18 months house arrest, which looks like magnanimous, but it basically means she can't run uh, in the 2010 elections, uh, which were meant to be free and fair. And that's what the UN were, were going for. As for the American, John Yetau, well, uh, a very weird case, the fact that he swum over to her house, uh, was first rebuffed and then, uh, and then uh, was allowed allowed in. He's been sentenced to seven years hard labor. There are U.S. senators uh, uh, trying to get his release. Uh, remember the, the, North, uh, the journalists that were released from North Korea from uh, uh, Bill Clinton's visit last week. There's an echo of that, but this is a very different regime, uh, not as connected to the outside world, no real um, connections to the Americans. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, a very bizarre case that Aung San Suu Kyi is now facing uh, an added 18 months under house arrest and can't run for the election due to this American that, that basically swam out uh, to her house to try and uh, save her, but it ends up uh, that he's got her in more trouble. Okay, indeed. Nathan King, thank you very much for that. On the line for us there from New York.